2020. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. This is my um, first video on this channel for this year. So I just quickly want to come on and let you know that I've been working on updating my YouTube channel banner, change the picture, been setting up my background. Um, I have a camera and a tripod and I'm still using natural light for my lighting but eventually because I know with my work schedule is so crazy I'm gonna have to get some um, lighting so I can record during the evening so I'm in the process of doing all this all this costs money but I definitely want to invest in myself it's really important that I do so so um, yeah I just want to come on and say I'm so glad to finally be able to sit down I've been doing a lot of overtime just 2000 and 20, I'm just really focused on being on my financial health, my mental health, my physical health, my eye health, my financial health, I want to get out of debt. So I've been doing as much overtime as I can so I can achieve those goals. But I'm so happy to finally be able to have a breather and finally get a day off so I can quickly come on and um, get a video up for the 2020 new year so yeah what to expect on this channel now still natural hair as always uh, i will be uploading once a week um, i'll try either it'll be friday or that following monday but a video once a week natural hair it may be something about natural hair maybe a haul um, maybe about fashion makeup things like that but i also have a second channel and i haven't uploaded on there for a really really long time it's called blindly reading and yes sometimes i highlight um some videos here with regards to my guide dogs and um, things like that on my blindly reading channel i'm going through a journey of learn learning braille um, staying um, literate while being visually impaired legally blind and what does that mean to me? I also will be doing movie reviews, audio book reviews, braille book reviews. Um, with regards to the movie reviews, I just felt like I have my experience as a visually impaired person is different. Um, I recently had someone at my job ask me, well, how do you watch movies? And you get questions like that all the time. And um, it's a little disheartening that people really think people with disabilities just can't do anything just because they can't understand the experience. So it's called audio description. And I want to um, do movie reviews based off their audio description of the movie. I think it's really important to highlight that in, in the entertainment world. So I'll link that channel down below. If you want to check it out, please go so over there. But it's just all going to be about different technologies for the blind to help us stay literate and to read audiobooks um, and even the, my collections of regular books that I held on to because I was an avid reader before this all happened to me and unfortunately I haven't been reading at all. Um, I'm still really struggling with Braille so I'm in that really weird space right now. So yeah, anyway that channel will be down below so I'm going to be reviving it and focusing on the Braille and uh, literacy and, um, and all description reviews of movies on that channel. So if you're interested in something like that, please do go over and check it out. But yeah, I just wanted to come here and say I miss you guys. I hope you had a good year. I'm so excited for this year. I have so many goals. Um, so I'm just looking really forward to this, um, this next chapter of my YouTube journey of my hobby and passion just learning more about you guys you guys learning more about me um engaging with each other so yeah i'm excited um so the next video definitely will be hair related i'm trying a new product i've been using it for about three weeks so i can't wait to let you know how i feel about it um, at this time so next week definitely check it out it will be a hair focused video but yeah i just want to come on and say i love you guys i hope you had a great new year what are some of your new year resolutions if you do that i do that i'm so goal oriented i don't even care i know people think it's cliche i do not i like to have goals and if i'm able to make them great if i don't i put them in a the pile for next year to try again so yeah let me know what some of your goals are this year um Alrighty, so before I leave you guys and say goodbye, real quickly, my natural hair goes for 2020. Uh, just 
keep the hair I have on my head, first of all, because my hair has been shedding like crazy. And I think there's a lot of things going on with that that I'll definitely highlight in my next video next week. But just keep the hair I have on my head. I'm just curious to see if I can grow my hair by the end of this year to um, full, not full, but mostly waist length, almost hip length. Um, so you, when it's stretched out, now when it's curly, obviously when it's curly, it, it's really, really shrunken. But see if I can get my hair to like a nice, full, undisputable waist length or almost hip length at the end of the year. Keep the hair on my head, keep my hair healthy. Um, try to, to try at least four new products this year to see if any of my Holy Grail products are knocked off their podium of their Holy Grail status. So I do wanna try new four hair products this year. So if you have any recommendations, definitely list them down in the comments below. And just like, just concentrate of my inner health, drink more water, see how that flourishes my hair. Cause the older I'm getting, the thinner my hair is getting. And I was, a couple of days ago, I was, I had a little like panic attack which is kind of weird to say about hair, right? It's just hair. But you know, as a black woman, um, my hair is my crown of glory. I take pride of it. It's part of my beauty um, that I cling to. So having that transition of my life of getting older and my crown literally thinning to the point that if you're tall and you look down, you can see scalp, it's a huge insecurity of mine. So. I'm trying to see what I can do outside of getting injections in, in my scalp from a dermatologist of keeping the hair that I have naturally and uh, without too much manipulation and see how I can make it thicker if it's even possible. So yeah guys, that is I think my major hair goals for 2020. Share yours down below in the comments. And if you like what you see, please comment uh, comment down below and subscribe so you can see me every week, please. <laughs> All right guys, like I always say, love the skin you're in, embrace your uniqueness, and be the good. Bye guys. I did want to insert an extra clip of the setup that I'm going to have. Yeah, I got some plants. I'm not about the, I guess, the typical YouTube aesthetic. I like texture. I like things tactile. And I like different things and layers. So you're not going to see like white, white back and pink or grays. I like the textures. So I like plants. I'm a plant mom. So this is going to be, and you'll see in the corner here, my tripod to my camera I'll be using from now on out. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my little corner you'll see in the background from my videos now on. Um, I hope you guys like it, cause I love it. And I guess that's the most important part, right? All right guys, now for real, see you next week.